Hey, it's Stratman from metatrader.pipware.com here. Just going to go through some of the settings of our mini chart indicator. Um, main thing to, to realize is that whether we've got multiple charts showing on a window or a single chart shown on a window, um, there is only one indicator attached. So if I look at this one that's got six mini charts and I go to the indicators list, we, we've only got one mini chart indicator attached uh, showing six charts. The way we achieve that is that within the settings of the, the mini chart indicator we have what we call single mode and multi mode and there are some settings for multi mode down here and you make a choice when you first add, you add the mini chart indicator whether you're going to be multi mode or single mode so and that's done by this setting here multi mode multi mode true means that we're going to have the ability to display more than one chart um, within our window um, if I change that to false um, we, we will end up with only one chart showing and uh, our single mode parameters take precedence so let's have a look yes and indeed um, just one chart appears so we modify our parameters to try and try and achieve whatever look we're trying to get. Um, remembering that we can have these charts in a separate indicator window as well. So we have to take care of that within the settings. Let's have a look at some of the settings now. Uh, just a couple of headings up the top here. Within the single mode version or, or, or attaching it in single mode, you really don't have a lot of options. Um, you, you're really just going to set the time frame. The symbol that is, is in single mode will always be the symbol of the main chart. So in this case, Euro USD, uh, Euro USD would be the chart being displayed. Um, the time frame you can set there. Corner, well, pretty self-explanatory. Top right, bottom left, bottom right. Um, just put your number in there, and that'll give you the corner that you're going to display the chart in. Remembering this is all for single mode. Chart parameters, well this is both for single mode and multi mode. Um, so these are kind of like the common parameters. Uh, the first option here is simulation mode. Well if you're using quantum simulator <coughs> you might get some ability to use the, the mini charts. This is, this is a very much a, um, a trial kind of beta thing. I've put it in here for you to play around with if, if you so wish. but. It's not something that um, I'm supporting really at the moment. Uh, multi mode, we just talked about that. Candle mode, well, we can view the charts in either bars or candles. Uh, we adjust this to uh, see that. Let's just check. There we go. We're in bar mode. Uh, go down further. Colors, well, I'm not going to change those. That, that's self explanatory, I, I would say. Um, then positioning is quite a big big area that we have to discuss. Uh, if you want to position your chart, you've got to be mindful of what corner you have anchored your chart to. So in this case, we've anchored our charts to the top right hand corner, which means that all measurements um, for objects on the chart are measured from that top right hand corner. So having uh, corner X, corner Y, uh, that means 10 out uh, X and 10 down Y and that kind of is the corner of the chart. So if you think of the chart encapsulated by maybe a box of say kind of round from about there all the way out to there up to about there uh, including the heading, our our position is, is about there for the corner of it. If we change it to another corner um, like say the bottom left corner so um, corner, where's corner? Let's just check what corner here it is here. Bottom left is 2 there, so we go to bottom left. Um, now our 10, 10 is measured from here to here. Now one thing you'll notice is that the heading has gone a little bit uh, screw with on us. That's because MetaTrader, like I said, is measuring everything from the corner and we had set um, when we were in the other corner that we've got a, a distance of about 120 it might have been 120 out to the edge of the 
the heading. Now when this was up in this top corner here, this heading was being referenced from this corner of this here. Now the measurement for heading, just to really confuse you, is always done from the edge of the chart because it's internal to the chart. So we're measuring 120 from the edge of the chart. So we measure 120, it's to this little point here. Now if we change that back up to the opposite corner, and we go to corner one, this is the corner that the measurement, so the 120 is measured from there to there. Okay, so just to clarify that, the whole chart is anchored to this corner and the measurement X and Y is from there, but the heading itself, its measurements are measured as a, as a, a reference to the top left corner of the chart. And depending on what corner we're anchored to, this little dot that appears changes. So this distance of 120 is okay there. Change back to the other corner and we'll probably hopefully understand what I'm I'm talking about. So we go down to this corner, the 120 is measured from there to there, um, so that's why you'd have to make an adjustment. So let's go back in here, make our adjustment to the heading. So we've got the corner, uh, width and height, and the heading, heading X, 120, let's change that to something like 30, and hopefully when we have a look at our chart, yes, it's bumped that along, so that'll be 30 out from there. Hopefully I didn't labour on that too much, but you get the understanding of what I was trying to portray. Okay, the other values. Well, we obviously want to be able to change the height and, and width of the chart. If we change the width, we basically are adding more candles because the, the, um, the bars are always going to be this size. So the bar spacing is seven apart. Um, so if we change the width, we're going to get more bars. If we change the height, uh, what we're going to see is this stretched because it's based on the number of bars that we've got in the window and we're going to um, just make sure it hits the top and the bottom of our chart. So height, if I change that to say something like oh, 140, we'll see what happens there. Um, we've already talked about the heading X and Y. Um, the scale start, well you can decide that you want the scale to be all the way up to here. Um, not much point, we've got it starting pretty much where the chart starts drawing. So let's let's have a look at what that looks like now. So we've increased the width, we've increased the height, uh, we've got more bars, great. Um, so we've gone through most of those parameters there. Now the uh, next parameter is, is really um, whether we're going to have the moving average there, 60 LWMA at the moment. And what colour are we going to have? Well, I'm going to write dod, dodger blue. So we're going to change the colour there. You've got the font that you can use for the heading. And then after that, we're talking about multi mode parameters. I'll leave the multi mode parameters to the next video. But um, let's just have a look at what happens to our chart now. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility. Um, we, can, we can move our chart any corner we like. Uh, we've got the ability to do colors, um, we can change our heading position, um, so we'll move that up to corner one, um, and we'll change it to candle mode, true, okay there we go, so as you can see the heading's got a little bit mucked up again, um, all because of that, that thing I just mentioned, let's just move the heading back along, um, heading X, 120, and we should be pretty good. Okay, so there's a good explanation. Um, this is uh, Stratman from metatrader.pipware.com. Uh, stay tuned for the next video on uh, multi-mode. Thanks.